All right. <laughs> this is really weird, but I'm gonna do it. Let's just see how it goes. Welcome to University Life, the ultimate student's Bible guide. My name's Lewis. How are you doing? It's a beautiful day here, so I thought I'd go outside with the camera. Never done this outside before, so I'm hoping that the microphone is alright. I put it on a different setting, so just have to see what happens. It's actually quite windy today, so sorry if it affects the audio really badly. So in the last video, I did a workout video, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. The reason why I want to do this today really is just because I'm kind of frustrated with myself for what happened in Liverpool. So today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to film outside and get a bit more comfortable with vlogging. Oops. Not the best walking conditions around here. So this is a learning experience for me as well as you. It's the first time I've done it, so you know, I feel stupid. So you're going to feel stupid, but just stick with it. So if you watch my channel, you're probably here for two reasons. One. You're kind of interested in me as a person and you want to support me, which is really cool. I really appreciate that. But another reason is you might just be a fan of YouTube. You love watching YouTube videos. And so secretly you just watch other people because it's what you want to do. And you just wonder, oh my God, how do they do it? And so you just watch other people instead of going out and doing it yourself, which, you know, is perfectly valid. I think I'm going to turn back. I'm gonna turn back this way. So, so I'm, I'm just gonna give you some tips on how to vlog outdoors. First and obvious tip really is to just, just do it. Like, you're never gonna be perfect when you first start. So, like, unless you get used to doing it, it's gonna feel really weird and unnatural. Um, you know, even just holding the camera for this amount of time, you're gonna have to keep, keep swatching. You're gonna have to keep swapping hands. Kept Omen and Aaron about doing this. I. Uh, been wanting to do this for a long time, like I say. I wanna, this is basically a preparation video for Leeds uh, on the 22nd. So, I wanna make sure I've got my vlogging skills down before I go there. I'm gonna just cut through the park here. So, another tip that I would give you guys is to just, you know, don't practice in a place that's full of people at the start. Just practice being outside, you know, in a place that you're familiar with, and that way you're going to feel a lot more comfortable. Just going to... So what I'm doing right now, I'm literally just walking around outside. I thought it was a beautiful day. I didn't want to waste this chance. I mean, today's a good day as ever to practice this, so... Yeah, so just go outside, practice holding a camera in front of you. Because like I say, it is going to be really weird at the start. You're going to feel like everyone's watching you. And that sort of leads into my next tip. And the truth is, no one really cares what you're doing. Like, when they first see it, they're not used to seeing it, so of course they'll probably look at you for a couple of seconds, but then they'll just get on with their day. They really don't care. They're not gonna say anything, and it's pretty obvious what you're doing, so the only thing they are gonna say to you is, oh, hey, you're vlogging. So, you know, that's the worst case scenario. Really wouldn't worry about it. Another tip that I'm trying to implement I think it will help you guys if you're trying to vlog outside. You know, just treat the camera like it's your friend, really. Because um, at the end of the day, that's what I want this to be, really. I right, see so you guys as my friends, my subscribers, and I feel like you guys care about me in some way, so I definitely care about you guys in some way. And, you know, if you were walking with your friend next to you, you wouldn't really care what people are saying about you, would you? You just talk to your friend. Yeah, I chose a day when there's a few people about. So yeah, if you treat it like your friend, like, you know, if you're talking to your friend, you just, you just focus in on them, aren't you? You're just having a conversation. You're not worried about people around you, so that's essentially what this is. And if you get that right mindset of thinking that, you know, people don't care, they're not watching you, you're just talking to your friend, it makes it a lot easier and you'll be a lot less nervous. So that's another tip. Um, I'd say the, the next tip is definitely like if you're gonna do it, like definitely do it. If you go all coy and shy about it, you're gonna look really weird because I tried to do that in Liverpool. Um, I made the mistake, I tried to get straight into it, surrounded by people, you know, I was just like dithering about with a camera. People were looking at me funny, like, oh, what's this guy doing? Um, 
you know, you put, you actually put more attention on yourself by trying to be quiet about it. You know, if you're trying to speak there in a quiet voice, real shriveled up, like, people are going to look at you and think, that guy's a bit of a weirdo. <laughs> you know, think about that guy on the train, you know, answers the phone, talks really loud. People hate that guy, but they know he's on the phone. So, <laughs> if you, if you're bold and you're loud, people know exactly what you're doing and they'll just they'll just leave you to it um, so I'm actually on a really small street so I'm just doing circles at the moment whilst I'm talking to you it's just to recap really just remember have the mindset people aren't actually watching you they might look at you for one second because they're not used to seeing it but then you know they've got they've got their own things they want to do that day so they'll they'll forget about you treat it like your friend talking to one person if you treat it like that you know if you're talking to your friend you wouldn't care who's around you third tip just you know be bold let everyone know this is what you're doing because then it actually you know people recognize that that's what you're doing you're not looking a bit dodgy a bit creepy and uh, yeah people just let you get on with it really but the most important tip I can say is just just do it I'm already gaining confidence just from this one trip at the start like I think just doing it is definitely the most important tip because I, I was festering around, you know, letting it linger in my mind, trying to talk myself out of it. The final tip I'd say really is, like, who, whose opinion do you value more? Like, do you value the random stranger who's looking at you that you're never going to see again? Or do you really care about the people that you're trying to create the content for? One second, I'm just going to put my key in the door. Yeah, sorry, I'm in the house now, um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, you know, who do you, who do you care about more? Do you care about the people that you're trying to create the content for? Uh, wait, come on, focus. Focus on me. Uh, uh, focus on me. I can't imagine anyone's really gonna like snigger at you or make a comment at you. Like I say, the worst thing they're gonna do is just be like, oh, hey, do you have a YouTube channel or are you vlogging, something like that. And you know, you can deal with that. I care a lot more about giving you guys content, giving you the content that I want to put out, a good quality, all around aspect of my life, and you know, I don't want to let some random stranger get in the way of that. Another way to make yourself feel more comfortable is to start in a situation that you're comfortable in and then enter the public sort of area. That's sort of like your leeway into preparing yourself. What happened with me in Liverpool, you know, if you try and get right into the thick of it and try and pull your camera out, you're gonna look a bit weird, you're gonna feel really awkward. Whereas if you've already entered the place, already vlogging, already got your confidence, you're talking loud, people just look over and they think, yeah, that guy's vlogging, I'm gonna leave him to it, I'm gonna get out of his way because I don't want to be in the camera. <laughs> I keep saying I'm the final tip, but yeah, one final tip is to, I couldn't really do it today because I'm giving you guys like sort of a tutorial, so I have to talk for a long period of time, but if you can, keep it short, keep it snappy, that way you're actually, you're getting to the point, you can be loud because you know exactly what you're gonna say, you know, if you're just saying, oh yeah, we're gonna go grab some lunch now, something like that, just talk for 30 seconds, boom, put the camera down, you can get on with your day, people aren't looking at you anymore. Because you know, if you, if you stood there talking for ages, people are then gonna start looking at you, they're gonna be like, is that guy really still talking? And um, the thing is, the, the more you talk, the the more stumbled you're gonna get because you have to think about what you're saying. It's gonna be all weird because you're gonna stumble and you're in public, so it's like, oh, I'm fumbling, and then, you know, you're talking faster than you can think of what to say next. So, if you keep it short and simple, boom. You know what you're doing, everyone else knows what you're doing, you look confident, you end up with good quality content. This is just something I've wanted to get over for a while, so. I feel like we made some progress today. People aren't naturally good at this. I mean, there'll be some people that are a bit better at the start, but you know, it's not natural at the end of the day to hold your arm out and put a camera in front of you. Like, <laughs> everyone has to get used to it. You have to practice and get good at it. So yeah, final recap, just do it, get started, you'll improve, but just get in the habit of doing it so that you're used to having the camera in front of you. If you enter the room already vlogging, people know what you're doing, you know, there's gonna be a lot less sort of awkward moments where people watch you as you get ready. Be loud, you know, make sure that everyone knows that you're vlogging because if you be quiet and all shriveled up, you're gonna look really awkward. And especially if you're quiet, people are gonna think, oh, why is that guy like being so shifty? You know, whereas if you're, if you're like that guy on the train, on the phone, like, yeah, yeah, I'll be home soon. 
yeah, put the dinner in. Like, people know what he's doing. He's talking to his wife on the phone, so let people know you're vlogging. That way, they can recognize it, quickly get over it. They'll move on with their lives. Like I say, they're not used to it, so they'll see it, and they'll be like, oh, yeah, okay and then they'll move on. I'm just happy to see the weather come out again because this winter, particularly for me, it's just felt like a lifetime. It's been so horrible. And yeah, I feel like I'm getting really optimistic again with the sun coming out. I'm feeling more productive. I'm on this social media course now, which is great. Can't wait to set up my social media agency and start banging some clients. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on the video. Comment down below. Uh, how you felt I fared on my first journey outside. It's probably not perfect, but you know, at the end of the day, just do it. Also comment, let me know if you guys are starting your vlogging now, because you know, I think it's great to create a community where people can feel supported. And you know, if some guy's like, oh, I don't really know like how to do a certain thing, you know, we can help each other out. There's a hair on this microphone. Yeah, I just want you guys to feel comfortable. We can be create a community feel. You know, we can all help each other out and if you do want to pick up a camera, start a channel like me. Literally, I've got like 70 subscribers. I'm nothing special, but I'm just so happy that I finally got over the barrier and started doing this because, you know, I'm just excited for what this could be in the future. If you're new and you want to see the journey progress, you want to see how I do at uni, how I go with the vlogging, all that kind of stuff, subscribe and join the union. Have a good morning, evening, or afternoon where you are, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank mm -hmm. you.